out of these guys and make sure that we have all the transmission fluid out. So that's just a regular 3 8 on there. Oh, look at that. And it actually doesn't look dirty at all. It's pretty good. So it looks like brand new oil. This may have been changed recently. This tractor I just bought at an auction this past summer. And fixed up, you can see my other video. Of the condition that it was in before I got it. But it looks like they must have changed the transmission fluid. It's not milky, there's no, it's not even dirty looking. So that's uh, pretty good. Okay, so we've got all the oil drained out of here now, so we're going to tighten up these two bungs. I don't think these are the kind of things you want to over-tighten. Do yourself a favor for the next time that you want back in. At the same time, you want to have them snug enough they don't fall out. Okay, so this is the fill hole for the uh, transmission. It's so, a uh, 13 sixteenths wrench. You just pop that bung off of there. Now you'll notice on the casting, there's an oil level line. It's basically level with the bottom of the hole. So we're going to be filling up basically to the bottom of this fill hole here. To show you the stuff that we're putting in here, it's uh, regular 80-90 80, 80, weight uh, gear oil. Pick this up at uh, Walmart. I transferred it into a smaller jug so it's a little easier to pour. And I got a good old transmission funnel. Now from what I read, it looks like you need about four quarts. So I'll probably have to use this jug, maybe a little bit more. So it was rather thick. The kink in the hose it slows everything down. Also passing through a screen here. taken a long time to drain through this funnel, so I've got my assistant holding it for the next little while. Say hi, Billy. Hi. <laughs> Still filling. So it took more than the four quarts. This is the fifth quart that we're on now. And it uh, looks like we're getting close to the top, so I think probably this fifth quart's going to do it, but we'll see. It is taking a little bit longer because I'm running it through a funnel that's got a strainer on it, but uh, that's not a bad thing. We don't want any foreign particles getting into our transmission here. So, a little bit of patience. Okay, so I don't think the camera can necessarily catch it. If you come in close here, the oil level is just at the bottom of the threads here. So it's not quite leaking out, but I put my finger just in the top there, and that's where the level is. So we're gonna go ahead, put the bung back in the hole, and that's it for filling the transmission fluid. So, 
So there is one more spot that gets gear oil here. I'm not going to actually uh, do the procedure right now. I don't have time. Uh, however, these final drives have an oil bath in them. Uh, they've got, looks like, I don't know, about eight uh, bolts to remove that cover. You drop the whole cover down, dump the oil out, clean out whatever sludge, uh, bolt it back up, and then right here is your filler hole. So you would fill that the same way that you fill a differential. Uh, so yeah, just so that you know, don't forget to do those. Thanks for watching.